fresh, fly, and fabulous. Those three words define the hip hop generation, a movement and genre that started 50 years ago, still defines the way some of us dress today. A new exhibit is looking back on the fashion trends of the forefathers of hip hop, and we got an inside look. Here's Darla Miles. So many black and brown teens and young people in marginalized communities wanted to be seen. And one of the easiest ways to be seen was with what you wore. The first collab with Run DMC and Adidas, the MCA bustier worn by Beyonce. Having your nameplate on your chest in gold was a way to say, I'm here, pay attention to me, I matter, I exist. Gold chains and everything bling are on display at Fresh, Fly and Fabulous, 50 years of hip hop fashion at the museum at FIT. Elizabeth Way and Elena Romero are the co-curators of the exhibit. Hip hop style is kind of hip hop's unofficial sixth element. Hip hop is such an important conduit for their creativity that blew up. In the 70s, elaborate costumes, the 80s, Kangol, Sherling coats, and the stylings of Dapper Dan. We have, um, for example, a case of hoop earrings. For women in hoops, it was a symbol of kind of their community and their power. Into the 90s, black clothing lines like FUBU and Fat Farm. A huge moment is in 2004 when um, Sean Combs won Designer of the Year for Sean John. We saw them come from nothing and became this amazing superstars. Does this look familiar to you? This is what Megan the Stallion wore at the Met Gala. And I want to show you something really important of historical significance. Everybody remembers when DJ Khaled and his son wore these massive matching blue tuxedos. But for New Yorkers, this is especially important. You see this gown? This is what Cardi B wore when she won her first Grammy Award. I'm sure these kids um, in 1973 in the Bronx could never imagine what hip hop has become. What it's become is a coveted style for luxury brands and a trendsetter on the red carpet. Hip hop fashion is American fashion. It is beloved by everyone.